Yo dudes, this is Logan at Riskless Review, where we test products so you don't have to. So today I've got a special guest, my good friend Mike Ward from Trading Card Game Collection. Link's in the description below. And he's going to do a vegan food review for you today. Let's get to it. Hello, this is Michael reviewing Don Lee Farms Chipotle Black Bean Burger for Riskless Review. We got these uh, black bean burgers at Costco for $12.99, and it comes with 12 fully cooked veggie burger patties. These are vegan, non-GMO, gluten-free, and organic. We decided to cook them in the microwave as well as baking, and we also cooked them in a skillet to try and figure out the best way to cook them. Let's get to it. First, we baked them at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. The website for Don Lee Farms recommends cooking them at 375 for 15 to 20 minutes for three burgers. Uh, we found that they weren't quite hot enough at 10 minutes at 350, so you might cook them a little bit longer. But I really liked the way they crisped up on the outside, gave it a really nice texture. Black bean burgers are not like other veggie burgers, they tend to have their own flavor and texture. Uh, I'm a fan of black bean burgers, so I really liked these. Um, I thought they had a great flavor. The baking really brought out the flavor nicely. And I think baking was my favorite method of cooking uh, for these burgers. Next, we tried cooking them in the skillet. Uh, with just a little bit of oil rather than using a non-stick pan. The website recommends a non-stick pan over medium heat for three to four minutes each side. The box says two to three minutes each side. I think about three minutes is right. Uh, these had a really good texture too. Uh, they really got nice and crispy on the outside. Um, the flavor was great. But no problem with the skillet. I thought they turned out really good. Finally, we cooked them in the microwave, and we did a couple different uh, attempts with the microwave. Um, first, we did a, I ate a patty on a bun with mayo and mustard and lettuce and tomato and cheese, and I thought the it kind of masked the spiciness. These have a little bit of a little bit of spice, not too bad. They're they're pretty mild. If you eat the patty by itself, you definitely get a lot more of the spice than if you have it with other ingredients. The first burger that I had, I thought was a little on the on the soggy side. Just it didn't really crisp up around the edges. That might be personal preference for some of you. The website recommends 30 to 45 seconds each side. They got very hot cooking in the microwave. The box says 45 seconds each side or until hot. So our preferred method is probably baking. All right, let's take a look at the nutrition facts. Um, you get one burger is 250 calories, which is not bad. Eight grams of fat, one gram saturated fat. That's not too bad. No cholesterol. A little bit high in sodium at 450 milligrams. Protein, 11 grams. That's pretty good. And like I said before, these were really affordable. Um, less than $15 for 12 patties. These are a really good deal. Uh, the nutrition is good. As I said before, these are gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, and USDA organic. So these are really, really good quality burgers for the price. Strongly recommend these. We got these at Costco. And Don Lee Farms does make some other flavors. So be sure to check out Don Lee Farms. You can check out their website at donleefarms.com. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Michael reporting for Riskless Review.